So I start, I start again just with the, just to see, okay? Uh, on the first line, see, are uh, photos with the national team. See, I was working in under 15, the first photo, and three, three years in under 20 of national team of Spain. And then uh, behind, uh, with this team that I was talking, that Cornelia, okay? Here you can see uh, Xavi Rabaceda, Nihat Dedovic, uh, Dani Perez, Naui Manresa, Alex Hernandez, and Mamadou Sam, okay? In the middle of the photo of this Cornelia, okay? This was very clear. These five young players, plus two Americans, plus two, three uh, national players, see? Okay, what was our target? Me uh, was try to create a player, see? On the conditional and the coach on the basketball, see? And with the national team, see? Was a, it's a little bit different because you just work with them one month. So they are in, in their clubs, they are, you are in contact with them, with the conditional coaches, but you don't have too many, too many uh, time to work with them. You just help them to prepare a, a championship, see? Here is a, a big difference and between both, both uh, teams, see? And it's something that I wanna explain in, in, in the future. With the team, see? you are working to create 12 players you are working with individual players see with a national team you are just adjusting everything see to try to play a championship so the preparation is really different okay and then uh, another thing important is that with the national team you receive players that they have different kind of workouts so you cannot you don't have time to do and to try to fix things, to, to change some habits. So you have to really uh, adjust to everything, see? Report a lot to the coaches that how we have to do our practices to stay the first day in the championship, in the jump ball, ready to play, okay? So this is a very big difference, see? You prepare one player, see? Is on the focus, see? For sure you are preparing a, a team, but the focus is try to develop players and with the national team, you try just to prepare a team, see, to do a, a prevention job, to arrive uh, in the best options from the first game, okay? Very important this, see, because now we will talk about what we have to do as conditional coaches, but all these players that I show you, see, there are one thing that is, is that I finish the process, so, this was like 10, 12 years ago, see? And then now they are professionals. So they did more or less their career, see? Most of them go to the ACB, most of them stay in lab goal, most of them. But one thing is clear that for sure, all of them has adversities in his career, see? Maybe one, maybe two. What I mean with adversities, I mean, uh, they are the second or the third point guard. They don't play. Uh, they had family problems. A lot of things that for me are adversities, see? And we as a coaches, see? More strength conditional coaches that we have a good and a different relationship with, with them, see? We need to be focused on this, see? And put our focus not only in the abilities, the skills, the strength, the rest resistance, the speed, the quickness, all these things, okay? We'll talk later, see? Uh, why I told this? How is right now our social reality a little bit, see? We are working with guys like under 16, under 20, under 18, see? An image is more than thousand, uh, half, uh, sorry, thousand words, see? We are in our social reality right now is uh, all day with the social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and for sure you know more than me, see? We have like a little bit protection from our parents, our family, see, the guys that we are working. Uh, here we call in Spain SK. SK is like excuses, see? When you talk your, to your players right now, okay? Hey, let's go, let's do it like this. SK, always they have something to say. 
because now we are uh, in a moment that our our uh, society uh, don't accept his own mistakes it's very difficult hey my bad my fault it's not easy so now who is working and try to develop has this this inconveniency and last this is that we analyze everything see now everybody has nutritionist uh, physiologic orthopedics we are controlling everything see we are controlling everything and there are something that for me my opinion is 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 really good perfect but there are a lot of that you will see here on the right side see on the right side that we have to develop too see we are working it's clear that as sorry because i cannot translate i will explain i think it's easy fuerza is a strength see this is the main the main capacity that we have to develop in our players see the resistance see help us okay to keep the levels of the strain see that we will talk later and the speed okay we need the strength to have the speed see the main capacity the main quality is the strength see so then we have the resistance and the velocity as important too and two facilities the flexibility and the coordination okay these five are our qualities that we have to develop i think is everybody everybody knows see but what happened with this on the right side see how are you doing how are you doing it's tough it's tough i don't have a, a magic see I, I told you it's a reflection see it's just to, to think a little bit if you are doing if you are not doing if we have to do a lot see look very easy the character see the character we have to work on this see a strong mentality to beat the problems the situations that we have to create see during the practice outside the practice see all the discipline that you needed to be a professional sportsman see beyond time all these things see you have to be really really uh, serious on this the responsibility okay the requirement see the self-discipline i mean i don't know exactly sorry i didn't say before i'm a spanish my of, uh, official language natural language is, is the spanish and my english is i think you understand but sorry if you don't understand something i will try to explain at the end again see the the self-discipline the self-discipline is uh by yourself how are you able to practice without a coach see this i like a lot the reality against the the positive see we are usually when we are practicing now with the with the um, with the kids with the young players there are now a lot of like motivation sentence like eh, don't worry if you uh, if it's not today it will be tomorrow you know we are have a lot of speeches like motivation see if, if we are focusing on this see that we have to develop a player i think we have to be realistic the message has to be realistic like okay we will try we will do our best effort we will do on the best way but it's tough you know that there are like put a lot of statistics like there are a lot of i don't know 12 players in a team that maybe just one arrive to the first team you know i think is is good it's not bad talk in realistic way to our players you know then we know exactly where we are and from there we can build we can build on this way see and the last the respect see the respect for the win respect for the lost okay in a sports in basketball uh, usually what happened in my career i lost more games than i win and usually in the basketball you you have more more mistakes than more we are in a sports that is uh you do something good something bad something good something bad you have to react see and you have to respect who is your teammate is doing good things bad things i think uh is the idea is clear see i i just wanna let you think a little bit about this see that now we are with a lot of technology we are working uh monoch the, the the load we control the load we control everything we have now 
a lot of encoders on the strength drills, but don't forget the right column. See, these things, be on time, the real respect, the discipline, for me are, are very important. See? Okay. Uh, some basics on a strength conditional coach, see? When you are working in, in your uh, teams, see? It's very important the biologic age, not the chronologic age. I'm working with one under 18, under 19, under 20, but maybe his biologic develop is not the same. So, okay, it's not like in junior, this, 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 under 19, this, this, this. Okay, adjust because you are working with 12 individual players. And maybe you have to, with one guy, wait a little bit, has patience, see? And with the other one, you can do like over age, see? You got it? Okay. Uh, second one, these are basics that I learned from my experience, from my knowledge in my career, okay? Take care with the tax, see? What I mean? I mean that when we are working with kids, like he's, he, not, he don't know to suffer, he don't know to compete, these things that we usually we use a lot as a coaches that maybe we don't care, but watch out with this because at the end, at the end, we create a different reality against somebody. See, and it's, diff it's difficult for him to uh, take out this, this tag. See, okay. Be careful trying to do what professionals are doing. So I'm watching the, the ACB team or the uh, Fenerbahce team, whatever. Okay, they are doing this, so I adjust a little bit. Watch out with this. Optimize your time. See, when you are working with your teams, you don't have time to do everything. You have to know exactly which is your plan. See, and has you need to have priorities. Okay. Uh, for sure, maybe uh, I think you know. See, this is see. Keep it simple, stupid. See, don't forget from the basic to the top. Now we are watching a lot of different things, variability on every drills, but you have, your players has to know to do excellent technique and executions and a squat, the bench press, a push up, a pull up, all these things are the basics. And from there, we change and we get variability, but you have to be excellent on the basic drills, see? Uh, be careful and strict with the technique, see? 100%, okay, is our focus, okay. The, I don't know exactly if the, the, the translation is like this, okay. Sorry, I mean the values of the training are our commandments. I mean the, you know, uh, adjust uh, value, all the values that we have as conditional coaches, see. This is very tough, but we have to do, see. We need to be patient. We are in a process. See, build a player, develop a player is a process. And in a process, there are good moments, bad moments is a process. We have to let him know that it's a process too. So our player need to be patient. And the most difficult all around the player, see, family, agent, if it's the case, see, we need to be patient. And one advice is don't try to be Try to more, uh, look more uh, in, a pro, in, a, in a period of time, not in a moment. Like, okay, now we are this, but we came from a good moment. See, we need to be patient because we'll be like up and down. See, and this is a question that you have to do by you, yourself, okay? In your decisions, are you a, only a team strength conditional coaches or you are a 12 players strength conditional coaches? What I want to say with this, imagine that we know that we have four or five players that we have to put the focus to develop them, okay? And we came, for example, from a Sunday tough game, see? On Monday, we have in our program, like, upper body strength, see? And we start to change our plan to take decisions, to protect a little bit them, like, okay, we came from a tough game, then we change this and then we do a, like more a recovery and then we are thinking and we are taking decisions on a team strength conditional. This is one decision that you have to take. 
But the second one, that is a process, if, if you don't care about the competition, if, and you follow your plan, see? And this is one, uh, like a, a method that you have two choice, see? Like team, okay, we are just, we win, we lose, we are just like a, like a seniors, we are working like a seniors. Oh, everybody knows around us, I mean, the coach, sport director, the club, everybody knows that we are follow, uh, following a, uh, a plan and we don't care about the games, we don't protect, okay, the team uh, and we keep our plan. Is clear, see, until Mohamed, we are doing good? Yes, yes, keep good? going on, good. See? Yes. Bien. And this is, uh, I like a lot this, see, that we are in a process too as a coaches. So the knowledge and your skills as a coach, you can be acquired for sure. See, you listen a clinic, you learn day by day, you learn. And if you are here for sure, you want to learn, but not your attitude. Your attitude only depends on you. See, and here is not business. See, we as a conditional coaches, we need to be always the first in attitude. See, and in front of the players and in front of the coach. See, we have to be always ready. It's tough, but has to be like this, okay? Uh, short break for me, sorry. <laughs> Water break. Okay, here, I just wanna show four points that for me are our target, see, when we try to develop uh, uh, players, see? Uh, we need to create strong players for sure, fast and quick players, coordinated players and smart, smart players. See, I think maybe some of you can add, add something, but for me that there are these these are the four, four four main. See, look, I put strong players. We need just to build a body, see, to play basketball. The other day I was in a Zoom with another, a lot of conditional coaches, and we was like discussing a little bit about the, the how strong has to be a basketball player. We are, we need to do like 100 kilos or 120 in a squat, for example, or we just need the enough strength to be ready to practice one hour, 30 minutes and play a game. See, this is something that we have to recognize. We need, we don't need to do, to build, a muscle man, see, we need to just put the enough strength and on the uh, on our player to to practice day by day, see, and to prepare for the competition, see, fast and quick. Now, uh, you know more, more 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 than me if you are coach. Now we now is mismatch five defense four the two press full court. Now the three uh, guard the five. Uh, we need fast players to react to 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 stay one and one see we need to create fast players see coordinated the same on the closeouts one five one four now we are if we see one game of 90s and we watch one game now everything changed our players now are really fast really coordinated see and last we need to create smart players inside and outside the court outside the court we are practicing with them like um, i don't know three hours per day if we are in a in a big club that we work, we practice every day more or less with your teams we are i don't know from six to nine if we do four four weeks uh, four sessions per week five what happened with the rest of the time see we need smart players that they have to know how is the rest, how is the recoveries, see? And we have to put um, time on this, okay? So for me, these are the four, the four uh, like main goals, okay? When we are and try to develop players. Okay, different ideas, see? Now we will try to talk a little bit more specific on each, see? Uh, on the strength workouts, see? There are like two difference for me, see? One is that we are doing like a, a structural strength that we are preparing a body, see, when we are working with these uh, players. 
And the second one is more functional and specific strength, see, that we are more play, play, preparing a player, a basketball player on a specific sport, see? Second idea, and is this aerobic and anaerobic exercise. For me, we try to do as much as we can on the court with the ball, see? This, this point is, for me is very important on your teams. We can discuss in professional teams that are all the tests that we can do. For me, the test is the, is the way that we have to, to do some, put one, one number, one something objective that something that uh, we see. See, imagine that I'm working with Mohamed and uh, I saw that he's getting tired so fast or that he's had problems in something. The way that I have to, to let him know is a number, see? And we need to do a lot of test tests, see? Because it's the way where you can show them that we are in the right way, that we are improving, that we are not improving, all these kind of things, see? For me, are very, very important, see? These tests we will talk now are performance tests, see? On the strength, on the aerobic and anaerobic, see? And these functional movement tests are more focusing in the mobilities and to detect the, the weak points of our players, see? About testes, for me, for sure, if uh, you know and you can do different, see? What the idea is that you, um, you have some, some uh, tools, okay, to, to, to do this test, see? Focusing in the performance, what I did is the, the course navet. Do you know? On from sideline to sideline are 15 meters. The test usually is 20 meters. See, and this beep, beep, beep. And with this, you know they are aerobic and aerobic uh, capacity. See, you count how many paliers. Each palier is one minute. Okay. This, if you can do with a herbit, a polar, see, is excellent too. With this, for sure, you know the capacity. See, when we was, when I was in, sorry, when I was in Barcelona, we did this only for the young players, see? For the, um, the American players and the national team, okay? The, like, uh, ex, uh, senior players was like a uh, volunteer. It was not mandatory, see? But for, from the young players was mandatory. We were checking their capacity, for sure. But we were checking to the capacity of suffer. See, you know that you are at limit. You have to to run two or three cores. Who is who surrender? Who don't surrender? Who give up? Who don't give up? Who is able to suffer? See, we count these two. Okay. Then the second one, I put this agility is here on the corner. Okay. Just with ball, this agility. See, you check how fast is doing with the ball. Okay. We create this with the free throws line. If you see, you can create another one, see? These sprints, you, can, you measure these 10 meters five times. When it's a sprint, I don't like to do with ball because you lost the speed. Just, just uh, five times 10 meters, see? And I include it in the performance, this is strength, see? I don't, I, uh, I, I don't want to do in a maximum, maximum uh, way. I mean, I don't have to put 120 kilos, see, and do just one. We don't, I think we don't need to do this in your teams, okay? But as a test, okay, maybe we can do like a, a, a one approx, like if you know that he can move 70, okay, 70, uh, five, six reps, see, let's see, Let's see how many reps you can do with 75, okay? And then maybe he can do five. Let's see what he can do in two months, see? And then, okay, we will see how is our uh, evolution, see? Uh, another, like pull-ups, see? Like how many pull-ups you can do in 20 seconds, see? You don't need to do in a one minute, okay? Let's see if he is uh, able to do one pull-up, two, three, see? Some squats, some clean move. See, don't. Uh, this this is important. Eh? When we are in your teams, not go to hundred percent. Go to 70, 80 and try to do some approach. See? 
al la son vertical jam, ¿sí? O son eh, CMJ jam, contra movement jam, ¿sí? As long as he can, then measure, that's it, ¿sí? For sure, maybe you have more, you have, you don't have, okay? You ha you, we can discuss if we can include something else, ¿sí? For me, this, these are very important and I did in the past, okay? Uh, next level of the test are these functional movements, see? This, if, you, if you see here on the photo, there are these seven tests, see? The squat, the harder step, the lunge, see? These four I use always, see? And I record my players. For example, the shoulder mobility, I put him back and I recorded him, okay? I make the measure and that's it. Um, The, the seven, for example, the, the photo, number seven, I, de, I, I never did in my team. I never did. I think for basketball, we don't need it, see? Then we have the ankle mobility. That is, is very, very important. I think this in under 18, under 20 is really important. Before, I, it's, it's important, but it's not. we don't have to put a focus there because our players still are... Uh, evolution are developed so is a is a good moment to to do and it's a good moment to do because they start to to have ankle problems with with ankle sprain so are are a test that you have to recognize the weak points and if right left are in the same see and last you see uh, ankle mobility and landings see we record to i like a lot because Uh, we think that the basketball is always, we need to jam a lot, for sure, but after a jam is a land, and we have to put a special focus in the landings of our players, see? How they react to the floor, how are they controlling the, these impacts, see? I forget one thing on the agility with ball, if you see last on the, the orange, see? It's agility test that now is using a lot too, see? That you you use the this uh like free throws line side line okay is another idea okay good about uh now we are focusing only in the resistance okay and how they develop aerobic and anaerobic i put this this idea this drill you know for sure see and we i will show two two drills this one for me this drill is more aerobic because you usually is long, eight, nine, ten minutes. You can count how many baskets you score. See, is this typical pass, receive, pass, 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 see? But I like a lot this drill to develop during the season two, see? What, what I say before, for me, this aerobic and aerobic, all these kind of uh, resistance workouts, we have to include inside the, the court, on the court, see? I, I, I used to to go outside to run, see, but I think uh, we need to put the ball and we need to to put the players on the court and develop the, this capacity on the court. Look, different options, see, pass, receive, pass, receive, pass between posts means that I pass and I don't receive the ball until the layup, see, and when I go, I have pass, pass, but when I come back, see, I like to put like uh, cognitive details, like let he, them think on the drill, because uh, if not, it's like an automatic drill, see? And they are not focused, they are just focusing to finish the drill, see? Let put some details that they have to be like, the second pass has to be bones, for example. And then let's see who is able to be focused and suffer and Okay, all the information that you can put. Uh, different finalist uh, ends, you can shoot, you can do the layup, you can play like low post if you want, change the kind of pass, see? This, uh, you can do like different, different way. Two sets, six minutes, right, left. You can count how many baskets you score in eight minutes or just score 100, take, uh, take note and then next time that you you repeat just uh you you let them what they did these five seconds lateral sprints you blow the whistle and during five seconds you are in the spot you run five seconds and then you repeat to go high on the hair beat, see and 
one more detail, add cones, okay, to run more. See, this is one idea, see? One more idea, uh, add codes. I mean, you start to zero, pass, 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 until half court, then you come back, pass, 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 easy basket, see? One minute like this, you have the 12 players in two lines, see? Then, after one minute, we, you don't stop the drill, you start to do two zero and two against one, okay? One minute like this, easy. And then you start to run, like half court, come back, full court, and you wait there, see? Start to build different drills on three on zero, see? Like crisscross with four passes, with two passes, see? What I talked in the drill before, but uh, let think, let think them, okay? Like, okay, we do like two on zero, two on one, three on zero, and finish on the left side. And they have to think where is the first pass, where is the second pass, okay? These kind of things, see? This is a very good test when, you're, when your team is able to do in cognitive way, means that you are doing a good job because the, your players are able to think and run, see? Uh, and you can add course like, for example, the last court, you can do like three on zero, pick and roll, and we pass to the roll. I don't know. You can create different situations, but always like this, see? What is good here is that you have three players, see? If you have 12, you are doing like a big effort and you are resting four, see? You are waiting. So this is, this is a very good uh, drill, a good idea for an, an specific uh, basketball drill, see? And uh, another tips, see, from to, to develop the resistance, okay, are put, when you are practicing two on two, three on three, four on four, put limit of seconds in each possession. Okay, you know, we have 24, but you are in offense, okay, five, come down, three, two, change. He, we are putting the, the we are putting putting the, the focus on the conditional, not on the tactic. See, so we have to work together with the coach. Okay, uh, five on zero competitions like running. See, pass, finish the guard, the point guard, the big man. See, like this, you count how many seconds, and then the second team compete, and you are creating a competition focusing on basketball. See, one more tip control the breaks of the practice, see, that like a real time out situation, okay? You are practicing three, three, 12 minutes, three on three, just one minute to drink water, okay? These, these details are helping us, okay, to prepare our players on the resistance way, see? Control the total time, you practice 90 minutes, okay, how many use time, see? How many time your players are practicing? Okay, maybe you are using too many time to explain, you are using too many time to organize the practice, see? And maybe at the end, you are 90 minutes, but you are only 55. The other 35 minutes disappear because you are talking too much, you are making a lot of corrections, see? Okay, uh, on the five on five, see? Introduce the ball, the coach give the ball, to change offense defense for example and they make them to react see everything will be fast will be more mistakes okay and last point see you need a, a, a high level player see that work with fatigue see i mean you propose a high intensity demands at the beginning of the practice see and then in the last part is where you are just focusing on the tactic see and then they will be really tired, the fatigue will be so high, see, and then you as a coach, see, put the, the uh, focus on the executions, on the sets, on the rules, offense, defense, blah, 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 see. This is more or less what I want to explain about the resistance, how to develop the resistance, see. We talk about a little bit about the strength, okay. We good, Mohamed, bien? Yes, yes. Excellent. Okay, about the strength. What we was talking before. For me, 
is a focus is the structural strength that we are preparing a body, see? Then we have different kind of strength, see? And next is the functional strength, see? That we are more focusing on the court, on the basketball specific, see? Progressive, the resistance, the hypertrophy, the maximum strength, and we convert this in velocity. I put in a second uh, step, see? This complex strength, I, I use these names, okay? Complex strength, I mean all the cleans, all the hand cleans, all the Olympic moves, see? For me, help in the structural, but they are a, li a little bit close to the functional strength, see? And then on the strength, see? All the agility drills, all the jam, see? Remember what I told before, we jam, but we have to be focused on the landing, on the eccentric, workout see all the fight strength because there are a lot of contacts in our sport all the quickness see these are the two focus that we have to develop see we cannot forget both if we are more what i told before if we are more thinking in 12 players we will have to we have to put the focus in the structural strength and if not if we are more focusing in the in this in the team see we, need, we are more thinking in win or loss, see? And in the second, see, is develop our players. So then are more the functional strength, see? A uh, 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 resume, see? How to develop? Next, I will show, I will put an example of one hypertrophic program, see? How I like to do, this is not in the order that you have to do, see? The order has to be first the resistance, okay? Second one, the hypertrophic, see? Then the maximum, see? You need to do a, a, a period of time. And then the velocity, see? The maximum is the pen of you if and it depends of your players, see? What I say before, chronologic age, biologic age. Maybe you are working with players that they are not able to do and go to the next step. You have to keep working on the technique, on the, remember the keys, keep it simple. And you have to be half of the season with the resistance, just this, not too much load, a lot of reps, a lot of drills to let him know. And maybe just at the last part of the season, you introduce some hypertrophic program. And in the same team, you have one player, that he knows a lot, he's, he developed so fast, he's doing and he's going um, really good. And then you need short time resistance, long time hypertrophic, and then maybe you can do some maximum strength. And then, see, so that is very important idea that you need to create 12, 12 uh, individual programs. See, these are more or less the, the characteristics, see? And I put here just a, uh, a program. See, imagine we are in a, a workout, warming up. Always work on your body mobility, see, and put your focus in the weak or deficit points that you check before in the FM, FMS functional movement screen, see, and introduce some specific mobility, okay? This 10 minutes, mobility and core. You prepare the player to do this, this program, okay? This workout is an hypertrophia, see? Hypertrophic reps. The first one, uh, 10 reps, two sets, eight, one set, just six reps. And we go up with the weight that you are moving, see? How works this? You are doing one bench press set, then the extra drill, one, 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 four sets, see? Then go for the next, lat pull, see, and the extra drill, see? This program is hypertrophic, okay? And is in a high level hypertrophic. What I like, I usually do like two ways on the hypertrophic. One more like, like 310, four sets, A, more regular. And the second one that is tough, see, has more intensity and you need to move more weight. Okay, and this means that you have to be more able to do, see, is that you change the reps that you are doing 
in each set, see? So you are changing the weight too, see? These are more close to the maximum uh, strain, see? Uh, this lat pull, this uh, for dorsal, the dead back, the military press, frontal bar, okay? Just the biceps, see? The, this program is more, is uh, a structural, okay? We are building a body, we are creating a body, see? And always I like to introduce some leg, see? Here was the press on, on one leg, see? Okay, uh, last part of my speech, see? I will show just one, uh, one Excel, one, uh, like one program, see? Uh, let me see. You can see? No? Wait a moment. No. Okay. Wait a moment. Now? No, you have to open that and after that share it. Yeah, wait. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Look, this is the uh like the program see that we was using on that uh with this corner yeah see with these young young players okay this is the program uh here everybody knows that we was following this plan so here uh we don't care about win lost if Monday was maximum and they came from a game on Sunday. Maybe we did some adjust, but not too much. Okay. Look here. This is what I was using on the resistance. Okay. One focus was on the aerobic. Then at the beginning, see here, August, September, October. Okay. On the left, the column the the all the the time see and we was using the ATR this we did two cycles see on the first one uh I'm talking about resistance we did more you see a pista on the court but we was running on the park outside too okay just once per week but we did maybe just first two weeks but we did okay and then we put we try to put everything on the court see then we develop the resistance and here we stop okay here uh two weeks after the beginning of the league here in october two weeks we start uh, we finish to do a specific team workout focusing in the resistance see then here we stop we put another focus here is the cap we prepare for the cap we didn't know at the beginning if we had to play or not so we put in our plan one uh, one period of time if we need see uh, to do something. Okay, look uh, all the test test that we was talking we was doing here at the beginning of the season, but not just the first week. I don't like to do on the first week. I think that we need to give a time, and we will be more objective if we do when the players are uh more in the uh, more more uh, working okay we repeat this second test more or less in christmas see in december and then here after the test if we need and we check that some of our players need a focus on the endurance on the resistance we did this in in february see and but as individual not as a team see as a team maybe once per week or once each two weeks uh, we, we we talk with the coach to do some adjust 
in the basketball session, not a specific uh, with the conditional coach. See? The speed we start to do in the second period, see? Uh, we work on the real speed, see? And we work a lot on the reaction speed, see? I like a lot to introduce these kind of things in the warm up activations, see? The reaction. Our sports is a, is a lot of reaction situations, offense, defense. Uh, you have a turnover, you, you have to react to go to often rebound. Happen a lot of things that you have to react as fast as you can. We have to work a lot on this. See? And then the focus was on the strength. See? One was develop the on the left side. See, the hyper, fuerza máxima, fuerza explosiva means like this uh, velocity, see, was focusing in the uh, structural, see. And this second one, this more dynamic, complex, see, was more focusing in the functional strength, okay. And last, we start to do here in November, you see, this agility, see. This means that once per week, we did a session see on the court during this here was all the jumps all the contact all this kind work with the elastics all this kind of workouts see we start to do until november why for me i consider that to do this kind of jobs you need a basic see and we are creating this basic see with this resistance hypertrophic all these things. If you if you are not uh, working and focusing on the structural, this functional maybe you are not doing with quality, and you need quality 100% to do this this kind of workouts. Okay, and that's it. We was preparing was two cycles of ATR. See, and last, if you see here. Here at the last part in the last, uh, when was close the, the playoff, we start to do this uh, more uh, quickness, okay? More uh, just speed, strength, and this agility. See, no more, okay? On the on the maximum, and if we was because we didn't know this was preparing before the season, and just if we was in playoff, see that we did, we did. We just focus the the strength on this way, okay? Just the the speed and this this complex that are all these uh, Olympic move. See these cleans and this uh, for power. And that's it, okay? Take it, Kurlan. And if you have any any question uh, from my side. That that's all. Thank you, Coach. Uh, if there's any question, thank you, Coach. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. There's no question, Coach. Uh, thank you for coming uh, and stay safe. Maybe, yes, there's a, a question, Mohammed Ansari. Let me open that. Uh, Mohammed. Hi, coach. Thanks for your lecture. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Mr. Raimi. Uh, my question is, or main problem in Iran is the, the increase in jumping. And what suggestion do you have for this? Uh, I have inc increasing jumping. Uh, what your suggestion for doing that training? Um, ah, increase the yeah. Yeah. You have to put yeah the the focus first of all on the Achilles, okay, for the impacts. Okay, then. We think that we jump more from the quad and we need to, to work on our glutes, see? On our glutes. All this step up position, see? And 
like a main focus, ¿sí? And all the implements, the complements, has to be on the Achilles, on the calf, and, and the Achilles, on the solius, ¿sí? And then on the core, ¿sí? That they build, the, the core give you this stability. But to, like, to go up, the main focus are on the, on the maximum, on the glutes. Uh, Mohamed, is that enough? Any other question, Mohamed? I said. In the in the presentation, I put there my Twitter, my Instagram. If you have any question, something, you can text me by Instagram. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much, Coach. Uh, have a good Have a good time. Stay safe. Yes. Thank you to be on the other side. I hope you learned something or just uh, know who I am. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you too. Have a good time. Stay safe all. Bye. 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 Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.